Follow the example of the shepherds and dare to do what God says. And then number three, not only must we hear the message and receive it and believe it, not only must we act in faith, but number three, we must tell everybody. Hello. Hey, I don't know about you, but I'm a Merry Christmas person. Amen. I don't do that happy holiday stuff. I say, Merry Christmas. I'm so glad Jesus was born. Let me tell you, I'm, glad, I'm grateful. I just say Merry Christmas to everybody. And there's not a single box up in my attic that says Xmas. Hello. I'm not Xing Christ out of Christmas ever. Hello, somebody. The shepherds got so excited that they told everybody that they saw. I love Luke 2, 17. It says, now when they had seen him. Come on. I, I, let me tell you something. Once you've experienced Jesus, come on. Once you know who he is. Once you've experienced the wonder and the beauty and the majesty of this person by the name of Jesus. Once you know him on an individual basis, you can't be quiet about it. Hello. You're going to get up on the mountain and tell everybody about it. You're going to shout it from the rooftops. Once they had seen him, they made widely known. Well, I'll just tell a few people. No, 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 no. Make it widely known. Put it up on your Facebook account. I don't know if you Twitter, tweet, tweet, tweet about it. Come on. Amen. Put it on Instagram. Put it on Snapchat. Amen. Whatever other social media. Let the world know. I believe in Jesus Christ. He's the reason for the season. Amen. They made him widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And let me tell you, all those who heard it marveled at the things which were told them by the shepherds. They responded in faith when they found the Messiah. They found Jesus. They stood in that stable with that baby. Can you imagine what that must have been like? Looking at Emmanuel, God with us, the Prince of Peace, just being born there. Amen. And, and uh, uh, you know, I'm sure they swapped stories with Mary and Joseph about the angels. And Mary and Joseph are like, we saw angels too. And Mary's pondering all these things in her heart. And and uh, when they found him, they discovered a wonder that changed their lives. It was so great that they couldn't help telling everybody about it. These shy, backward, smelly shepherds. And, and by the way, I, I shot a sheep this year. All right, some of y'all know that. But my son gave me a sheep hunt, and I went and shot a sheep. And I was, uh, it's good, you know, that's fine. He's hanging in my office in there. He's beautiful. I enjoy him every week, all right? But you know something, I do remember one thing, the odor of that sheep. I'm sure the shepherds didn't smell too good, hello. But they were telling everybody this, what they had heard. And so listen, you've got some opportunities this year. Actually, Wednesday night, you've got an opportunity to come. And tell somebody about Jesus. Knock on a door. Sing a Christmas carol. Be a part of the Fountain of Life Volunteer Choir. Hello. That's going to go out and proclaim the good news of Jesus. Let me tell you, we've had people burst into tears when we've done that. We always leave someone behind to pray with them. We're going to give them an invitation to our, to our uh, candlelight Christmas Eve service. In fact, out on the table in the lobby is a whole stack of Christmas invitations. Take five or ten or however many you want and pass them out to people. Say, and you'd be surprised. People will come to church on Christmas. If you'll just be willing to invite them, it's up to us. Come on, somebody. I believe we can fill this place up on that Christmas candlelight Eve service. Amen. So tell somebody, shout it from the rooftop. Amen. Jesus Christ has come. And then number four, we've got to celebrate with joy. I'm telling you what I like to celebrate with joy. Amen. I don't need anything to drink to get happy. Hello. I don't need anything to smoke to get happy. Hell, let me. All I need is to know that Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, came to this earth. Amen. Wash my sins away. Amen. I'm telling you something. I can celebrate with joy today. I do have some fruit cake at home. I like to eat. All right. And some cherry pie and some stuff like that. Amen. And it's okay to, but I believe in celebrating Jesus. Hello? 
Man, when we decorate our Christmas tree, we put on the Christmas music. Amen. We turn it over to those. We're singing, oh, holy night and silent night and angels we have heard on high and all those Christmas songs. Why? Because we're celebrating the birth of Jesus. And let me tell you, the angels, the, the shepherds, they, they heard the good news. They responded in faith. They told everybody that they knew. And guess what? When they came back, they were rejoicing and praising God. I like Luke 2 and verse 20. It says, Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. They came back with a worshipful heart and spirit. So does that describe your life? Are you glorifying and praising God? Amen. You know, I love even just walking through a mall and all of a sudden you hear some Christian song being played. Thought people say, hey, sh- sh- do you hear that? What? They're playing his song. Don't you get it? They're playing the song about Jesus. Amen. Amen. And we can rejoice. Now, I'll tell you what. I'm sure that those shepherds had to go back to their life, to those smelly sheep. <laughs> I'm sure maybe they didn't care for their job some days. They still had to battle the prejudice that was attached with being a, 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 a shepherd. You know, they still had some disagreements. They may have struggled in their lives, in their homes, in their marriage. And maybe a lot of their outward circumstances didn't change much at all. But let me tell you something. There was something that had changed on the inside of their hearts. Right? And let me tell you, when you know Jesus, the, you know, sometimes the outward circumstances don't always change as quickly as we'd like to see them change. Hello? But let me tell you something. If you've got the joy that's in your heart, it will make a difference. They found a joy that the world cannot deliver and cannot deny. They found a wholeness that they couldn't achieve through counseling. They found a peace that no bank account could produce. They found a love that no person could ever give them. They found the Lord, and you can too. Amen. Would you stand with me today? Thank you so much.